The dream was to go to medical school. I have been living that dream. I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to care for patients. It does feel surreal. It's so surreal. You just can't believe the day is here. It feels like a lifetime. 2020 seems like yesterday. A lot of struggles. A lot of struggles that most medical students don't go through. All of that um, just makes the degree that much more sweet. <laughs> When I was really little, I used to say that I was going to be a vet or an astronaut, um, or both, you know. In high school, it started to change from being a veterinarian to wanting to be a doctor. So it's been, you know, a 13-year journey. Both my parents are doctors. I thought, I have to be a doctor because my parents are doctors. And then you go to college and you realize there's a whole other world out there. That's kind of what led me to, to switch from major to major. Some of the volunteer experiences I had at SLU Hospital, funny enough, and seeing the, the impact that some of the doctors had. I can't get this doing computer science or art history. I matched at SLU, actually, so I'll be here for four more years. I am the ultimate SLU cheerleader. I was hoping to find a medical school that had a really collaborative community, helping the students here become a part of the St. Louis community. I'm the first person in my family to go into medicine, so truly had no idea how intense med school can really be. You don't really know what you're getting yourself into, remembering what you're doing it for and who you're doing it for. To be that person for somebody else, someone that they can trust and really rely on. It's so crazy thinking that I'm going to be that person now. Not only did I go to medical school and four years of time passed, but the four years of time passed were my early 20s. A pretty transformative time, I would think, for anyone. I think I was lucky enough to meet uh, some of my best friends in medical school. We started during the pandemic and we call ourselves the guinea pig class. We had a brand new curriculum. Like all of the new things always happen to us first. Weathering storms like we did together creates bonds with people that you just you can't get anywhere else. We had like this field day, our first real social event that we got to do that was like in person. Games and there were teams and things like that. It was super fun. You could feel like the camaraderie, like a turning point for our class. I mean, all of us went through challenges and you just learn more about yourself, how resilient you are. The people that have influenced the type of doctor I want to be, the mentors that I worked with and friends I made, the Office of Student Affairs, Queer Man Alliance, those are the people that supported me and lifted me up and that I think most represent my time in med school. Medical school is obviously a journey that you invest a lot of time into. You pour your heart and your soul and your blood and your sweat and your tears into it. And you know, it's sad to walk away from that community. But at the same time, it's, a, it's an amazing celebration. It's a life milestone, I think. Take stock on what the past four years have done. Graduation is gonna be really exciting for me and my family because I graduated in COVID in 2020. So I am very excited to like walk across the stage, put on a cap and gown for people and not my living room. Look at what I'm graduating with. A doctor of medicine, what? What I've been working towards for such a long time. I'm just like 25 years old. Like what do you mean you're, I'm gonna call myself a doctor. It dawns on you. I am now a doctor. In many ways, you're just starting a journey now while you're ending one. The whole point of it has been that they get to go take care of people, and now they get to go take care of people. I'm so excited for them. I got to play a small role in their journey here. It's so gratifying for me professionally and personally. Sometimes you feel like you're sprinkling bits of your heart all around the country. It can be a really kind of emotional moment for me personally, having seen a lot of these students grow. You came into this profession because you have a really strong passion and a vocation to serve people that's going to carry you through. For parents and family, they dealt with every aspect of emotion in four years. But it can be a really scary transition too to suddenly have new initials after your name. You still have a lot of people who care about you and are looking out for you. What is that situation that you had growing up that made you think, I want to take care of people? Keep coming back to your why in those stressful moments so you can, so you can persist and keep moving forward. It makes me proud of you know where medicine is heading, knowing that these are the you know the next generation of physicians. Just look back at your work all throughout med school. You'll come to the conclusion really quickly that you deserve the title of doctor. It's scary and it's hard, and every day you feel like you don't know what you're doing and you're doing everything wrong, and then suddenly you turn around and you walk into a patient's room and you feel totally confident and you're like, oh my god, I felt like a doctor today.